You need a money making plan. In Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill said that knowledge by itself will not attract money. It's only when that knowledge is organized into consistent plans of action that, uh, the, that the money flows. So you absolutely need to have a money making plan. And so let's just reverse engineer it. Like let's work, I can actually work through with you right now what the money making plan would be. So let's say your goal is to make 10K a month. And we've established that you need to enroll uh, five clients paying you 2K each. So the next thing we need to do to make that money, make, to make that plan almost like inevitable for you to achieve is we need to figure out, well, how many sales conversations do you need to have with like people who are qualified and keen and ready to buy? Now, one way we can figure that out is we can look at, if you've already got a track record of selling, we could look at, well, typically how many conversations do you need to have to enroll the client? I know we've got some people on the call today that that's, that percentage might be very high. You might say, well, you know, 80% of the people I speak to sign up. There may be others on this call that are saying, well, no, Bernadette, I need to speak to like four or five people before I can enroll a client. The bottom line is it doesn't matter. It absolutely doesn't matter whether your conversion to start with is 20% or 90%. All that matters is then, is you know then how to reverse engineer those numbers. So if you know that you need to speak to five people in order to enroll one client, which is a 20% conversion, and you wanna generate five clients this month, then let's do the maths. You need to have 25 sales conversations. That works out, you know, about six sales conversations a week. Do you think that you can find time in your schedule for six hours worth of sales conversations? Given that it's the most important activity in your business, like what else is more important than having conversations that lead to money moving into your business? If you, if you, if you have something more important, I would love to hear about it. Um, but I would argue that, you know, that's the most important thing for you to be doing. So can you find six hours a week for you to have those enrollment conversations? And if you're saying no to that, you don't have a marketing problem. You've got a time management problem. You're currently spending things, you're putting your time into things that are not revenue generating. You're working, you're, you're putting your time into the wrong things. Just think about this for a moment. The money you make in your business really comes down to the decision about where you invest your time. And I'm telling, I'm sitting here right now telling you that if you're serious about hitting 10K months, then you better prioritize having sales conversations. And what that may mean is that there's a whole heap of things that you're currently doing, the blogging, the podcasting, the YouTube videos, the um, sitting on Facebook all day, just chatting to people, um, the, the planning, the working on my online course, the creative avoidance stuff that can suck up hours of your time because it feels safe. I know most people here, you know, if you're honest, you much rather do all that busy work that where you get to feel the feel good in the moment that you're doing stuff. But if it's not bringing in money into your business, you need to look at your numbers and you need to start making different decisions about what you're putting your time into. I'm not saying that those things have no place in your business, but I would say that they're not the highest priority if your goal is to get 10K months. You want 10K months with a 2K product, you need to make five sales over the next 30 days. And that means you need to have 25 sales conversations. Okay, so you need to have your money making plan. So we need to know how many sales you need, how many sales conversations you need. And really that gives you a lot of clarity because you can get clear on what you do need to do and what you don't need to do. And just think about it. This then gives you a guide for all the other things that you spend time on your business. You can basically ask yourself, is this activity a sales conversation? Yes or no? If no, is it something that's gonna help me generate more sales conversations this week? Right? If it's not, just defer it till next month. Now, what I've just said there, if all you do as a result of following this, watching this Facebook Live, is just implement that little piece, I promise that you'll have a 10K month next month. That's how confident I am about when you get really focused on having sales conversations and the activities that lead to sales conversations, your results become inevitable.